Hey, Matt, can you say your whole name? What's your whole name? <laughs> Matt. <laughs> My favorite part about growing up at Wesley Church has been um, that I was able to build a strong foundation in my relationship with Christ. And the opportunities I've been given to lead worship both by singing and playing my instrument in the traditional services as well as singing for the student worship experiences. My favorite part about growing up in Wesley Church has really been the community that it's provided for me and also it's really served as a guidance to help me grow in my faith. Probably Sunday nights when Everyone gets together in big groups and small groups and the trips we go on. Being able to go on different uh, mission trips like Guatemala, River of Life, and different trips like that. And because I've been able to help people as much as possible. Playing in the orchestra for the past five years, four years. Definitely the environment. Uh, confirmation and VBS were definitely the two biggest things I enjoyed just how supportive everyone is. No matter what issue I have, no matter the time, I always know that I can reach out to somebody and they'll be there to help me with whatever I need, whether that's prayer-based, school-based, home life, friends, doesn't matter. Someone is always there to, to, to support me and help me. Being able to be part of a family and also uh, having a place to call home that's not my house. Would definitely be the musical community here. We do so much stuff as far as choir in both youth and adult and I really enjoyed growing up in middle and high school doing youth choir and youth handbells with Jeff and that's really been something that's strengthened me musically and spiritually. Just seeing the whole, the whole church grow and seeing all of the different aspects of it, it's just been great seeing everything, everything that they've been doing. My favorite part about growing up at Wesley has been feeling comfortable enough to grow in my faith with people that are my own age, with my own peers, and not feeling ashamed of it or embarrassed, and being able to talk with people who are just like me and are on the same journey as I am. Just watching me and my other students, um, friends, just growing up as a whole and like watching our progression with our walk of Christ and just seeing, just seeing how we've progressed over the last couple of years. Getting to play in the orchestra and play with the choir. My favorite part about growing up in Wesley Church has been growing up through the youth program and going on all the mission trips. My favorite part about growing up at Wesley has to be the people. Growing and learning about God with the same tight-knit, friendly group of people has been the greatest blessing I could have ever had. My favorite part about growing up in Wesley Church has definitely been the praise band, and Ryan definitely does a great job with that. My favorite part about growing up at Wesley Church has definitely been the connections I've been able to make and going on missions, local and foreign. I really enjoy just seeing how other people live and being able to help them out and help them learn more about Christ. It just has to be the community around it. So through VBS and through the student ministries, I've truly met some of my best friends. Um, and they aren't just relationships for now, they're relationships for my lifetime. And I'm super thankful for that listening to Pastor Greg's sermon, sermons over the years. And we started at this church right when he did, so over the years just growing up and listening to his sermons. All the really great memories that I've made and all the really amazing people that I've met here. And I'm just super thankful for all of the relationships that I've built and how much stronger my relationship with God has gotten. My favorite part about growing up at Wesley has probably been just the accepting community and the outpour of love that comes from every aspect of the church. Vacation Bible School and acolyting with my brother. My favorite part of growing up in Wesley has definitely been being mentored by my youth leaders and Aaron and everybody in the church, but also being able to mentor you know, little ones, being in VBS, helping out VBS, and also being in the children's church, helping them out and really seeing them grow in their faith as well. My favorite part has been serving the community around me and getting to know all the people I've been with since I was in third grade. It's been a wonderful experience. Just being a part of all the camps and tr trips we go on, like Vacation Bible School and the ski trip and River of Life. It has definitely been the youth program. Um, I've loved all of the youth retreats and I've met some of my best friends through Wesley Church. Definitely the friends that you make from other schools and all of the friendly staff here and probably the retreats that we go on. What are you most looking forward to after high school? 
I'm really just looking forward to making new friends, progressing my education, and hopefully making my parents proud uh, as I work through the I guess the university major and minor. Going off to college at Georgia Southern University to major in nursing. Living the college life and trying out for college cheerleading. Continuing my academics at Georgia Southern and meeting new people, continuing my fellowship with Christ and meeting people who have similar interests as me that I can become, you know, make new friends and meet new people when I'm down there. After high school, I'm most looking forward to probably college with my best friend. Just seeing where life takes me. I have a pretty decent plan, but I'm still just not sure about what challenges will come up over the next couple of years. I'm just ready to, I'm just ready for whatever life throws at me because I've got on my side. I'm most looking forward to meet new people and join the Wesley Foundation at Mississippi State University and pursue my love for mission trips. Probably starting new beginnings at college and meeting new friends. Gaining some independence and starting to make my own decisions. Basically planting my own feet and walking by myself without my parents and being my own person. It's the independence of being on my own. It's going to be quite a journey, but I think I'll be able to manage just fine. And it will, and the independence that's going to come with it is going to be very nice. I'm going to be able to do whatever I want, be whoever I want, and just grow and learn to be my, become a better person. After high school, I'm looking forward to becoming a pilot and living out my dream of traveling the world. Definitely looking forward to going off to college and meeting new people and also getting a smaller sense of independence. After high school, I'm most looking forward to going to college at AU and just seeing what else God has planned for me. I'm most looking forward to going to college and becoming a nurse so I could spread God's miracle and God's love with those who need it most. Going to the University of Georgia and moving up to Athens. Going to school at UGA this fall, I cannot wait to be a Bulldog and go to the football games and also join the Wesley Foundation there. And I really want to connect with other members of the Wesley Church there and just have a great time at my new school and enjoy everything there is to enjoy. I'm most looking forward to after high school is college and getting the college experience and like living on my own. After high school, I'm looking forward to making new friends. Going off into college at Georgia Southern and just experiencing what it's like to be on my own and experiencing like college life basically. Being able to look for bigger experiences in other churches um, in my college campus as well as meeting new people that will further my faith. Really growing as an individual, um, strengthening my faith, meeting new people of course, and really just seeing where God leads me in life and fulfilling His purpose in me. Definitely looking forward to meeting new people and expanding my horizon and uh, finding new interests and just kind of living in, in a new place, finding a new environment to live in, a new set of of people. Being able to find myself, go to college, be able to play football, and then uh, pursue my career in civil engineering. After high school, I'm most looking forward to um, building good relationships and getting to know new people in college. I'm most looking forward to seeing what I can bring to the world and also seeing what it holds for me. I know there's many opportunities out there for me to help other people, but there's also many opportunities out there for me to become a better person and advance in whatever career path I so desire. Going to Alabama next year, I'm super excited about that. They have um, an amazing atmosphere there, and I'm super excited to go learn some new things, meet some new people, and eventually just get some cows, because my mom's always said no to cows. I'm most looking forward to uh, being able to be more independent and starting my own life and making adult decisions. Just college and finding a church group that I really connect with that can help me grow in my faith with the Lord. Who would you like to thank on this Senior Recognition Sunday? In three, two, Today I would like to thank Miss Amanda for being such an amazing youth group leader and then I would also like to thank Pastor Greg for always having such amazing sermons. I would like to thank my mom, Laura Lowe. She does piano for the children's choir and she also helps me out whenever I have to sing for choir or for a solo. She's always been the best accompanist I could ever ask for. She's, very, she's so encouraging when it comes to trying to find my voice and my passion when it comes to music. I would like to thank my parents for believing in me and helping me on my walk with Christ. Today I would like to thank my family, the orchestra, choir, and everybody that has made me feel at home here. Today I'd like to thank my parents for helping me get here. Without them I couldn't be where I was now and they really have helped me throughout my journey with Christ and growing up as a kid today. 
and I'd really like to thank them for everything they've done for me and it really means a lot. I would like to thank my parents for helping me grow with God and helping me to become the best person I could have been. I also would like to thank the whole entire youth staff that's ever been with me at Wesley, especially Mr. Travis and Aaron and Ellen because they have been with me the longest and have really watched me grow. Uh, today I'd like to thank my parents and my family uh, for helping me through the past 12 years. Definitely would like to thank all of my family that have gotten me this far, uh, God of course, and all of my teachers that have pushed me to be the best self that I can. I would like to thank my parents, my brothers, and my grandparents for pushing me to be the best version of myself. I would like to thank all of my Vacation Bible School leaders from Wesley, Miss Joy for guiding me through acolyting, and then my family. Today, I would like to thank my parents who have always supported me. Um, they've obviously done many things for me over the years, many big things, but I think it's all in the little things that they've done for me that have made me the person I am today. And I'm thankful that they've made these sacrifices so I am able to have a good life and be able to go to college and just have the opportunities that I've had. Uh, today, I'd like to thank my parents. I mean, I've really, I really could not have gotten this far without them. It's, been such a ride and they've been with me the whole way through. I'd also like to thank the choir, the youth choir, been a big part of my life in the past few years. Really gotten to know everyone there and everyone there is amazing. Thanks for, thanks for helping me out through these years. Today I would like to thank my mom and Aaron and Ellen, Casey, Miss Nicole, and Miss Jessica. Today I'd like to thank my parents, my mom and my dad. They are my best friends in the whole world. And also my older brother. Um, he is the best big brother a girl could ask for. And he has mentored me in so many different ways. So a huge thanks to them. I want to thank Amanda Raddick. She's been my small group leader ever since sixth grade. And I am eternally grateful for her. And she has impacted my walk with Christ more than she will ever know. And I'm also really thankful for the Hildebrandt family, and they were the family that got me connected with Wesley. Um, today I would like to thank Aaron and Ellen for just all the time that they've put into the youth, and I want to thank Nicole Munns for all that she's done for me over the years. I also want to thank Cammie and Casey, and I want to thank my parents. Today, I would like to thank my family for always pushing me to be the best I can be, and I would like to personally thank my mom for being one of my biggest role models uh, throughout my high school career. I would like to thank uh, Jeff Wickle, the orchestra instructor, and I would also like to thank my parents for pushing me as much as they have. Today, I'd like to thank my parents, Amanda Reddick and Travis Young, for fostering my faith and being mentors in that sort of sense and I'd also like to thank Caroline Trudson for being the bestest friend I could have ever asked for in a faith experience and just supporting me throughout my journey through Wesley students. First of all God for just providing such great opportunities in my life and giving me the strength and knowledge to accomplish all the things that I have and also my parents for just being there by my side through thick and thin always strengthening me and encouraging me um, and also I would just, I look at them a lot, so I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for them and also the rest of my friends and family for just being the best support group I could ask for. Definitely my parents and my family. Uh, they've helped me get me there. But also throughout the church, I think Nicole Munns, she really got me into this church, especially with youth and confirmation and whatnot. So I would really like to thank her. I would like to thank um, my parents for supporting me and being there for me and my friends and the rest of my family. Miss Nicole Munts because she was the first person to show me love when I came here to uh, Wesley Church. I would also like to thank Summer Hayes. She's the person who told me that our youth group existed. And I'd also like to thank Emily Grabowski because she's been my best friend since we met in ninth grade. And then one more person, Miss Amanda Reddick. She has been a with us through thick and thin since seventh grade. Today I would like to thank my parents um, and Aaron and my um, small group leaders, Miss Joanne and Miss Amanda. First off, I just want to thank all the youth pastors and interns that have dedicated their time into this student ministry. And I also just want to thank all the people that have put together the um, student retreats and my parents. My parents and my little brother, for helping support me through all of my changes and major and dreams. But I would also like to thank Miss Amanda Reddick 
who has also been there for me and has been a very strong spiritual leader in my life. My parents for always being there, supporting me, loving me, no matter what the problem is, I can always go talk to them and we'll figure it out and make sure that I get everything I need. And I'd also like to thank my teachers for helping educate me, helping me teach everything I need to know, no matter whether that's skills like a job application or skills like math and reading and writing to make sure that I succeed for the rest of my life and do good. Uh, today, I'd like to thank my family in general for supporting me no matter what, my church family for supporting me no matter what, and just having good down-to-earth people around me at all times. All right, good.